frame 14. At least a doubt. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. And O'Sullivan's commanding lead. Pallet in the Masters final at the old Wembley Conference Centre and 198. Yeah, I, I kind of played the opponent. I could see my opponent weakening, which I don't really see that happening with uh, Ronnie tonight. I think this, this match is not going to be lasting a whole lot longer. It's just been the, the consummate performance today. O'Sullivan has no record at all of seizing up close to the winning line. One. I don't think there's any question about the result of this match, who's going to win, but the one question I think on everyone's mind in the Guildhall and everyone watching are we going to see that 1,000th century? Six. Well, he started the day on 997. And he almost Seven. did it a couple of frames ago until he lost position on a very difficult red, very difficult last red on 90. 14. Well, if we go on 15. the evidence of how we've seen Ronnie play to date, you would say that Neil Robertson's played his last shot in this match. That evidence again. I've noticed a change in Ronnie Sullivan's break build, and he likes to play little cannons and kind of cherry pick the reds 20. these days, and blast into the pack as early as I think he used to do. I think he just uses that cue ball. It's very clever the way he plays. That previous black, I'm sure someone like Judd Trump would have been screwing right into the bunch at pace there, get everything in the open. It's more measured, Ronnie Sullivan's approach now in break building. Thirty one O'Sullivan began his journey to a thousand centuries in his first professional match when he was Second. sixteen. He beat Jason Scott in the first round of UK qualifying five two. That was his first professional century. His total also includes 15 147s. 46. If you don't go into the pack as he did, he refused to earlier on, is when you leave yourself that top high black into the bunch, you're not always guaranteed to get something, but he's got the one red that he wanted. Fifty-five. Huge air of expectancy 
in the guild hall. Well, this 60. huge crowd is going to witness a moment 61. of snooker history, I think. Beautiful positional shot. 68. 69. Oh, that's the title. Six and in ahead, 67 on. There's history coming. Perfect. As Stephen said, Mr. Sullivan is already sure of the title. 77. His 35th from his 50th ranking final. Counting invitation events. It'll take his total 83. in all to 68. 84. Five pots. 82. <laughs> Is he going to tease us? He did say the other night in the studio he was going to wait 92. until another tournament to do it. Black and a red. What a player. Incredible achievement. Really is phenomenal. The ultimate great builder. And how easy has he made this look this thousand century? And if he clears the table, he robs Neil Robertson of the £5,000 highest great prize. Just a total clearance to finish the match off. What an achievement! Oh, but no high grade prize. The break on is on one, three, four, but it was his thousandth century. What an ending, what a conclusion. He's played a virtually flawless match. Oh. How this great crowd has loved all of it, great crowd has loved all of this. He takes his earnings for the season over the three quarters of a million mark, but he's not interested in that. Records are the thing, and th this is a fine one. So now, over to Phil Seymour to present the presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome your presentation party, Mr. Jason Ferguson, the chairman of the WPBSA, and Mr. Adrian Osman, head of sponsorship for title sponsors, Coral. Ladies. 
ladies and gentlemen, firstly, would you please put your hands together for your runner-up, collecting the medal and a prize money of £50,000, Neil Robertson! Got a couple of words with Neil, first of all. Neil, this has been a strange occasion for you, I guess, watching today. Obviously, Ronnie's been playing brilliantly. You've just been witnessed what is history for the game of snooker. But you yourself and the way you play today, it appeared that you didn't do a lot wrong. No, that's right. I mean, that's the, uh, the harsh reality of snooker. You know, I think um, throughout the whole match, you know, I think I only missed three balls that kind of really mattered. Two of them were extremely difficult as well. But, um, you know, the first four frames, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, anything wrong. Um, Ronnie knocked in some unbelievable long balls to get in, so I don't feel as though he took my game apart. I felt he kind of like took the table apart because it was just like, you know, I, I, I played good shots and I got punished for playing good shots, so um, sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say, um, you know, just very well played to Ronnie. It was, it was outstanding today. Absolutely. Very well played. A lot to take away from this week. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think... Um, yeah, it's my, uh, my fourth final this season. Obviously won a couple of them. So, um, but, you know, when, when you come up against someone um, playing as well as that, it's, it's very difficult to deal with. And, um, you know, you either you must hate my guts or have a lot of respect for my game to play like that against me. So <laughs> I hope it's the latter. So. Well, we know he likes your accent. <laughs> well played, Neil Robertson. I shake the hand of the history maker. We'll, we'll come to that in just a moment. But to hear a fellow professional like Neil Robertson say that you, you conquered the table today suggests, just gives you an idea of just how well everyone thinks you played. What did you think? Yeah, no, I knew I, knew I had to play well. I mean, you, you never play that well unless you know you have to, you know. And um, Neil's done that to me in finals before in Scotland where I just didn't really get a shot. So, um, you know, and uh, I just played, you know, I played just really, really well. I played well a week, but, you know, I played brilliantly today, you know, and to um, cap it off with a thousand centuries is, is, is great. Um, but, um, just, just, go, just going back, you know, I just want to say well done to Neil because he's had a, a brilliant season, a fantastic tournament, and for me, you know, it, I mean, snooker's just a sport, it's a game, and we all, you know, everyone here loves to watch the game, but as far as human beings go, and he's probably the nicest human being on the circuit, so um, for me that means more, and... Um, Snooker's lucky to have someone like Neil playing the game, and uh, you know, so uh, you know, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, just, and, and and to get the set, to share a moment like this with another player, there was no other player I'd want to really share it with other than maybe Ding and Liang Wenbo, so um, it was nice that I'd done it with an opponent that I have a lot of respect for, you know. I guess one of the other poignant points about winning and doing what you did tonight is the fact that your first ranking title came here against Stephen Hendry almost three decades ago. Does it make it a little bit more special to have done it in this venue? Yeah, because this is, a, this is a, the, one of the best venues we get to play on. And, you know, when you put top quality players in top quality venues, you'll get top quality snooker. And that's what the Guildhall is. And hopefully, you know, this should be... The, the, the base of how a venue should be, you know, because you'll get better, better matches. So, um, you know, for us players, we, we love playing here, you know. It's, it's one, of the, one of the best venues and, um, yeah, it's great. Ronnie, you always talk about how good the other players are, what a lovely bloke Neil is. But tonight, you heard what the crowd were doing as you got closer and closer to the historic century. If you look at the sign just behind you, Ronnie O'Sullivan, snooker legend, 1,000 centuries, and every single person who's here tonight, they'll never forget this night. What does that mean to you? Um, I, suppose, I suppose to me, it's just what I do, you know, ever since I was seven, eight, I just played you know, snooker pop balls, I loved the game, but, you know, to share it with the fans here in Preston and, and any snooker fan, you know, because there's snooker fans all over the world, so Preston's just lucky that he was here tonight. But, 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 
But I would like to sort of, um, you know, everywhere I go to play or everywhere we go to play, snooker fans all around the world support our sport, and it's done for every snooker player in the whole world. So that's, um, that's a, a great pleasure for me. Well, it was a great pleasure. I speak on behalf of every single person here and every single person watching. Congratulations on the history of a thousand centuries and the Coral Players Champion of 2019, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, collecting the trophy, prize money of £125,000, and the title of 2019 Coral Players Championship winner, the history-making, the Rocket, Ronnie!